Okay, so I'm going to test autopilot at night. I've never done this before. So this is what my road looks like. It's a moderately busy interstate. Not like an LA interstate, but active. So I'm going to uh, turn on autopilot. And I pull it twice. Boop. Automatically start steering. Boop. So it's auto steering and it's scaring me to death already because it's pulling way to the left center lane. Drives a little to the center as opposed to. There we go, now it's evening out. Okay, so this is what's happening here. I got a little curve going. So I wasn't sure if it would see the lines or not, or how it would respond at night. So those two, the blue uh, circle to the left and the right of the speed limit show that on the left is that basically uh, cruise control, adaptive cruise is on, and on the right hand side, um, auto steering is on. So you do have to keep your hands on the wheel. And I've had a couple of incidences where I've had to definitely take control um, of the car. And there's something interesting that happens um, if you're driving the car during the day. I'm testing to see if it happens at night. But there's some overpasses that we're getting ready to come to and it, the auto steering completely loses, um, it can't find the lines on the overpass because the, the road is asphalt and the um, and the bridge the overpass is concrete and the lines fade significantly and so you can feel the car like sort of jerking around trying to find the lines to or the edge to do the auto steering so it goes a little crazy there. The other thing that I've noticed, I'm waiting to get to that point, it's coming up. Okay, we're approaching an overpass bridge, and we're going to see if it loses the lines like it does during the daytime. And I think it's coming up right up here. And actually, with me having a car in front of me, if it loses the lines, it's going to follow the car in front of me as I'm thinking about it, so it's actually not going to work. It's not going to have a problem because I'm tracked car right here is the bridge. Ooh, it took me way off. Ooh, it's searching for it. It did. It, oh, man. Okay, yeah, it wiggled me back and forth. It definitely lost the line again, even at nighttime, even with a car in front of me. So that's kind of interesting. Now, it was short bridge, so it recovered pretty quickly, but it was hunting. <laughs> My car went left and right, left and right. Here's another one. You can see the line drops off. Shorter. Okay, there's one more coming up. Now, my experience the other day, too, is that I had a car coming up, up an off-ramp, and I was on auto steering. So I was in the right lane, and I had a car merging. Oh, my gosh, it scared me to death. Um, you know, it does not slow down for that. It doesn't sense it. Okay, first car slowing down a little bit because we approached the bridge again. Overpass. Okay, yeah, it's wobbling back and forth. Notice it loses the line on the right. On the, okay, we're back. Last one. And it wobbles. Ooh, yeah. See, you can see it in the wowie. Okay. Okay. And then if cars are merging like they are here, you know, auto steering does not work for that. I'm going to have to take over here, slow down, and. Um, okay, actually, I stayed and it worked out okay in this case. But I did have a car, um, like, almost merge into me, and auto steering didn't do anything about it. All right, pretty wild, pretty cool. Actually, it works amazingly well. Works better on interstates than it does on side streets. It does not stop for stoplights. I've had quite a few people ask me that, and you cannot put in a GPS location and just have it navigate to that. So it's really not um, autopilot in a sense that it's gonna drive you somewhere to a destination. It's really auto steering, adaptive cruise, and then the collision warnings, which all those flashes that you see on the left and right hand side of the car in the dash and um, so it is actually working pretty well at night so almost better at night because uh, the lights are shining directly on the line so 